Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how to set up the Nix OS Home Manager. Now, the Home Manager is a different configuration file for Nix OS apart from the system-wide configuration that is found in slash hc slash Nix OS slash configuration dot Nix. Now, that configuration file manages your entire system. The Home Manager manages your home user so in whatever if you have multiple users then you can have different home managers for different users now the home manager is a very powerful tool you can install packages you can set your gtk themes you can do pretty much anything uh, you have a lot of scope in home manager than you have in your system wide configuration so let's go over to a virtual machine of nix os and let's uh, set up the home manager first let's open a web browser and uh, this is the home uh, manager manual page before that let's uh, type here home manager nix os let's go to the community page here nix dash community and let's come to installation so using the standalone home manager tool there are three ways in which you can use the home manager one is use the standalone home manager that is the home manager will be its own thing or you can uh, run it as a module inside NixOS system configuration. So essentially you will have just a single configuration file. And then uh, next option is to run it using the Nix-Darwin system configuration. In this video, we are going to see how it is done using the first option. So maybe in a future video, we will see how it's done using the second option as a module within a NixOS system configuration. So today we are going to see how to do a standalone home manager installation. So let's go to the installation uh, manual page. So you can see here standalone installation. Click on that and that takes us to the home manager manual where you can set the standards where you can install home manager as a standalone program so there are uh, the first one it's telling make sure you have a working nix installation leave all those things this is nix os so obviously we have a working nix installation this uh, warning is uh, for those who are using the nix package manager in any other linux distribution now let's come down add the appropriate home manager channel so if you are using the nix package as master or the unstable channel so if you are on the unstable channel then you will use these sets of command if you are using the stable version that is the nix os 22.11 then you will use this uh, set of commands now this virtual machine is not running nix os unstable it is running nix os stable nix os 22.11 so we are going to use these sets of command first we are going to copy this first command now what this first command does is it is adding the home manager channel similar to when we will add the unstable channel before upgrading our system to the unstable version of nix os this adds the home manager as a channel then we can update our system and it will be added to our system channel so first let's copy this let's open a terminal let's make the terminal a little bit bigger Control shift V to paste that enter now the channel has been added let's go back to the manual now we have to update our channel so nix dash channel space dash dash update so control C to copy from here then control shift V to paste in your terminal enter so it has been uh, updated now if I do nix dash channel dash dash list I should have a home manager channel here you don't need sudo privileges because the home manager is not going to do anything with the root directory it's going to manage your home user so just running the commands without the sudo privileges is what you have to do now let's go back to the manual and then we have to install the home manager so let's copy this command Control shift v enter and it is building so suppose if this is not building for you it's showing an error then what you will do is you will reboot your system and you will run this uh, command again okay so the installation has been completed so home manager tool should now be installed and you can edit slash home slash jr slash dot config next packages slash home dot next so this is going to be the location where your home manager config file is going to be present so in your home directory in dot config slash nix packages slash home dot nix so let's do control shift p sorry windows shift p to open a file manager here in dot config where is it nix packages home dot nix let's close this let's open it from the terminal let's uh, copy this path here and let's clear the screen then let's do vim and let's paste the path oh, sorry it's not pasting let's open it vim 
then in my home directory slash dot config slash nix packages slash home dot nix so this is your home manager so home username is given here then the user directory then the state version is 22.11 you don't have to change this even if you upgrade to a unstable version then let home manager install and manage itself so the home manager is installed and managed by itself so the home manager is not installed from your system config file it is initiated by the home manager and it is managing itself now you can add options here so how can you add different options now there is a website for this if i type home manager nix os options okay that's a mistake there but doesn't matter it's uh okay and we have to find a website called as mip mip ah, it's your home manager option search this is similar to your uh, nix os option search but it is a third party tool but and it's really really good so you have a lot of options here it's a very powerful tool the home manager you can go ahead and uh, do anything you want so what we are going to do today is we are going to simply set the gtk theme so let's type gtk so first thing you have to do is gtk dot enable so the type is boolean that is it's true or false so gtk dot enable so let's go here let's create a new line and let's type gtk dot enable is equal to true so we have enabled gtk then what we are going to do is we are going to select a gtk theme package so for that the option is gtk dot theme dot package so let's go back to our home manager gtk dot theme dot package is equal to then the name of the package now where will you get the name of the package from you can get it from the normal nix os uh, package search so if i go to nix os dot org here on the top we have a search button and here i can search for the packages so if i want to do vimix themes vimix if i search then i have the vimix dash gtk theme so if i want to know what is the package name exactly it's nothing but packages dot and then this one you can see here let me zoom in a little bit packages dot vimix dash gtk dash theme so this is your package name let's copy that and let's paste it here now we have the gtk enabled we have the gtk theme package now we have to mention the name of the theme within this gtk theme package now finding the name of the theme is a little bit difficult so my uh, option would be to have another virtual machine or another computer running like arch linux and use lx appearance to find the name of the theme because i don't find any other viable option to know the themes that are present inside this package but i know the name of a theme here so let's go over to our home manager here and gtk dot, dot theme dot name now we are going to mention the name of the theme so let's go here gtk dot, dot theme dot name is equal to then this should be a string so inside quotes vimix dash dark dash daughter i know that this uh, this is the name of a theme inside the vimix gtk themes package so let's uh, close that now when i rebuilt home manager i should have the dark vimix theme so if i open a file manager now it's a light theme so when i set it up and when i reboot it again i should have a dark theme so call, uh, let's uh, get out of insert mode by hitting escape colon wq to write and quit out of vim now how to rebuild our home manager it's a similar command to how nixos dash rebuild the switch here home dash manager and switch that's it when once you do that you will you can switch to the new version of home manager enter okay okay so now you can see that there is an error here the name ca.desert.deconf was not provided so deconf is not provided it's not in our system config file deconf should be there so let's open our let's clear the screen first and let's open our system configuration file sudo vim slash hc slash nixos slash configuration dot nix enter give you a password let's uh, move over here let's create a new line and let's type this deconf 
we have to enable decon so programs dot decon dot enable is equal to true now if we have to rebuild this config file so sudo nixos dash rebuild space so this is our regular nixos configuration file let's rebuild that so it should not take much time okay so our system has been rebuilt let's clear the screen now let's run home manager switch now there should not be any errors our home manager should be built yes there are no errors our home manager has been built let's reboot the system okay let's enter my password the resolution is not good because this is a virtual man machine let's make the resolution good let's open our file manager we have a dark theme here so this is how you will set up and install your home manager and this is how you can change gtk themes now the home manager is not only used to change the gtk themes it's a very very powerful tool the options are really so much it will take a lot of time for me to get around all those options but it's looking like a really good um, good one the home manager but i personally would prefer that if this gtk themes if all these options have been just added to the system configuration file that would have been even more fantastic but it doesn't matter the home manager it has its own advantages you can um, manage your home user away from the system configuration file so it's really cool so in the future maybe i'll do a few more videos about this uh, home manager now one more thing about setting the gtk themes using the home manager finding the name of a, a theme is a little bit difficult so uh, it's very very difficult as i told you i have to use another machine like it's running arch linux or something then i have to find the name of the theme using lx appearance and then i have to enter the name of that theme here that's the most uh, viable option for me maybe there is some other option where i can find the name of the themes themes that are present inside a theme package now it's not necessary a fault of nixos it it is also the fault of the developers so they are not uh, giving the names of the themes explicitly anywhere so that's it for this video uh, i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching have a nice day